today. Does everybody remember this? Sorry. So uh, I see there might be quite a few uh, creators out there that remember the short-lived canvas, the boot. It's a lot of fun the games with this uh, diamond painting. Uh, and I don't say, yeah, I won't say particularly in the, in the canvas. So short link canvas is, is a canvas that, when you receive it, it's actually folded up. Uh, you can still see here where the folds are. Uh, when it's, <laughs> yeah, excuse the lighting. <laughs> so you can actually see the folds here. Uh, if I turn it over this way, you can still see the folds. But I lay that flat, that does not affect the canvas at all. So yes, I can still see where the folds were. Uh, I think I completed this about a year ago. I will pop up here in the eye somewhere the link to the playlist with all of the um, all the work that was done with the boot. Okay, so why has this come out? Because I'm going to turn this into a big decorative cushion, and I'm not going to sew it. I went out and purchased. Some very, 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 very cheap blue cotton. It was, I, mean, I don't know if you can see the quality of it. I'm not too stressed about it because it's just decorative. That's going to be the back. But I'll pay $2 for, well, $2 a metre. I brought two, two square metres. Um, so I paid $4 for this. <laughs> Uh, and simply I'm going to make that, that's going to be back. So, first things first, I need to actually get to and to cut the material to size. Um, yeah. I've looked up and the camera's not on, it's like, oh no. Um, I was kind of talking to myself, trying to work out whether I was going to cut the edges or not. And I am going to have to cut the edges. So, I want to keep these perfectly, the edges perfectly, well they won't be cut perfect, but they'll be perfectly in line with each other. Um, so that when I glue them, I've got the same amount of um, around them. First things first, I'm going to pin this again to hold it. But I'll be using, obviously I'll be using the clamps and I'll use a lot more because I really need to have this pinned down. That's have not move much. So, start from the end. Um, I will speed this process up so you don't have to watch me peg it. You can just watch me peg it at high speed. Just going to move this along a little bit. So this is the idea: is actually to keep this. I do this to keep this as steady as possible. Um, I know I knock things over. This is just me being me, keeping things cautious. <laughs> okay. So this is actually the top. You can see the boots down there. This is actually the top. The aim is to cut this to the point where I can so where this comes in I need to cut this about that much to come in so that when I peg this the pegs are right on the drill edge <laughs> up screen shortly one thing I do need to do is I do need to do an initial cut here um, I'm just gonna see this. 
just because I need to make sure that I glue this right. And another one of this one. Right, and then it is a case of just glue and peg. This is just a case of gluing. Now, I have used a few different types of glue. The best glue that I've found is the E6000. Um, this is, oh, oh, there's so many different types of E6000. So you've got E6000, it's all self-leveling formula. When I first came across this, I was told to use, uh, the instructions were to use uh, this one, which, hang on, the E6000, which is an extreme tack. That's just not focusing. That's where you can actually create dollops of uh, glue. But I have since discovered another E6000, which is the bead and jewelry. What I'm going to do is run the glue along here. Pop this down and peg. Okay, so it is, I'm pegging where that glue is. Yeah, I have to go up a little bit OCD with the uh, pegs. So that's all pegged. I will now leave that to sit.
three sides now glued. One, two, three, and the bottom one is yet to be done. So the next stage is actually to turn this uh, inside out and then fill it. So back we go to the uh, speeding things up to get... This has been turned inside out. It's stiff here, which is all good because when we put the um, filling in, it, uh, it's all good. So fill it and then I will take you through this little bottom section of gluing it. filled. Um, one thing that I learned from the second time I tried, um, don't overfill. If your glue doesn't hold properly you're going to regret overfilling. This is purely decoration so I'm not concerned about it. It'll fluff and sort itself out. But it's, it is being filled and we just have this section here which is open. This is where the fun gets, where this gets fun. What need to do I will actually clamp it down clamp it down peg it down before I glue it because what I need to be able to do is hold it now I've not folded this at all this will get folded but I've found that when doing this if you do it this way it just makes it easier when you start to fold and I've just realized I haven't cut cut the edges. I actually need to get to and cut these so it's um, only about a centimetre deep. Good move, smart move and I should have done that before I filled it. So now one so I've pegged it along like that all the way I'm actually going to be leaving that that way I need to what I need to do is to tuck this in and envelope it and then that has to fold over onto that which is glued so this is where it gets messy and I didn't show you that so I fold this over and then I fold that over again onto there, sorry. But I will need to get this corner bit done first. Changing glues, so I'm still on the E6000, but I'm using the extreme tack. This is where you create the dots of glue. So this is different to this jewellery one. It's still the same glue, but it's just the process of using it is different. Because what I need to do is I need to basically create a dot and fold this over. And what I've done is just mix that, that glue has ended up in there. Okay. So with this folded and this glue is so sticky, so sticky. But I do need to get that corner piece held. 
I'm going to have to muck around with that edge. But go along and peg along all the way, same way, all the way along now. This is where this one is really good. I can go along there. It will hold. This will hold. This is good stuff. Okay. Oh dear. I need to peg this. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Okay, so this got really tacky and I've got things stuck to my fingers, so be warned. I'm going to have to work as quickly as possible to get this all tacked up and every time you touch that glue you're going to get sticky. whoops I didn't show you I had to redo that corner because I obviously had it wrong <laughs> for um, lengthwise so this is now pegged up and needs to uh, sit for another few more days and uh, then we'll pull the pegs off and share with you the end result glue has set oh look at that how cool is that how sparkly the, I've got up to my final stage, which I'll turn this over. Sorry, bump the camera. That's the mouse. You don't need to see that. So now all I have to do is just remove all of these, and I have a cushion. Right. Which is a very simple task. You will see. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes they stuck. That's a bit of cotton that's actually stuck to. Oh. Okay, let's turn it over. So you see the better, the better side. And this is this is the end that I struggled with, and you can see where it's a and it's a mess. But I'm okay, I'll live with that one. Whereas if I show you the other side, the other edge, got that up nicely. But there we go. Just a case of pulling the pegs off. It took me a few days between each lot of glue. Uh, only because it was so big. I, if this was a small cushion, I would have done three sides um, because I would have had the pegs for three sides. But I only had the peg for 
for one enough pegs for one side because the size of it. And the importance is the way you glue it, it's just completely glued all the way along. So that'll flatten out. That will still, it's still yet to dry, you can see it's a little bit wet. But if you see these edges, that's just the edge on, you know, there's no stitching involved in that. All my other edges are pretty good. It's just that bottom one that's yet to dry properly. But there we go. One cushion I probably as well could have put more stuffing in it. But it is only for decoration, it's not for um, not for sleeping on for sure. So there we go guys. Nice um, simple way if you don't sew. Um, yeah, to do a, a diamond painting cushion um, for a decoration, decoration, bleh, 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 get it right, for a decorated, um, for decorations, for real decorations. So yeah guys, here we go, what do you think? I will uh, leave that there and I will say guys, thank you for watching, keep an eye out for more videos, so give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think as well.